Corn viewers. This is the 12th of July, 2012, and uh, I got a little glimpse of the Queen outside the museum this morning. But right now, I'm looking at a group of yellow objects and just trying to make sense of them. Yellow is a metal sulfide, usually made with silver and sulfur, that's heated and fuses into this hard black substance that, that is then laid into channels for, for a decorative effect. Okay, Sim, I can see that you've got um, a lot of pieces out there on the desk. Could you explain um, the process you're going through? Yes, as you can see, it's quite a fragmentary set of material. The Niello channels are the weakest points on these objects, and so they tend to fracture in a lot of pe into a lot of pieces, as you can see here. And so what I'm trying to do is just lay everything out and try to find joins and try to make sense of this very fragmented set of objects. So, Sim, I believe you've actually put one of your assemblages together to show us some of the, the work that you're doing. Yes, I've managed to put together these 16 fragments into what looks like a silver plate with a gilt border and a quite an unusual shape. I mean, to me, it looks a bit like a fishtail on this end. But as you can see, a lot of the pieces in this group are covered with soil. Some of them are completely embedded in soil, and further conservation will be required to reveal the break edges, which can then be studied under a microscope, and uh, these joints can be confirmed. Right now, this is just my best guess as to how they fit together. So that's one assemblage we can see. Um, how many do you think there might be within the Niello collection? I found 12 groups of objects, such as this one. And um, there are another four or five lone objects, um, such as the inscription strip, which you might know about already. the traces of gilding that remain, and the um, zoomorphic animal decoration on the front. Another object on display in the gallery is this beautiful silver and yellow lentoid, which you can see in the image. We have fragments of what we believe to be its pair, and so I'm working on trying to figure out how much we have, and see if I can put them together. Okay, Sim, so we've seen the work that you've done in the studio, and we've had a quick look on the gallery at some of the pieces on display so the public can go and view those. Um, what other work will there be, or where else can they find out some more information about the Niello project? Well, I will be putting a written blog on the website shortly, so do keep an eye out for that. And work on these objects is ongoing, and we have a partnership with the British Museum for analysis of the Niello, and that work is also ongoing. As we get results, we'll keep 